Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will teach you how to connect these three single phase transformers to this alternator. Now as you can see here that this alternator does not contain any voltage regulator or rectifier. You can see the armature windings are directly coming out through these four pins and since these are four pins it means that the internal winding is connected in the star format and not in delta format. So here in this video I will connect these three transformers in different formats to this alternator and here as you can see is a 7.4 volts lithium ion battery pack that I am going to use to activate the rotor of field winding of this alternator which means to generate electricity from this alternator. In my previous video if you have seen it I used a 12 volts lithium ion UPS battery. So here I am going to use this. But if it is not going to work with this, then obviously I will have to switch to another higher voltage battery. Okay, so guys, now I'm going to connect the primary low voltage side of the transformer to the alternator. Okay, so first step is to identify which one is the low voltage side and which one is the high voltage side. Now the low voltage side is usually the one with thicker wires. Okay, as you can see, these are much thicker than these wires. Okay. So yeah, obviously this is uh, the low voltage side, low voltage, high current side. Okay, so guys, since there are so many connections, so I will explain them to you, obviously, okay. So, uh, talking about this first transformer, this black one, you can see these are the two thick wires, uh, the secondary, which is connected, this wire, this wire is connected to this terminal, okay. So, the two wires are connected, this and this. Now, come to this transformer, these two wires are connected to this one and this one now uh, the only left one are these two wires okay these two wires have not been repeated so obviously this transformer will be connected to these two and there are two connections for every terminal coming out from the alternator okay this has two connections this has two connections and this has two connections so this way all the three phases of this uh, alternator have been connected to the three transformers 
just like as in the case of delta not in star but in case of delta it would have been star connected if i would have utilized this terminal which is uh, the neutral terminal of the alternator as you can see okay so guys as you can see that the resistance check has completed and i have isolated uh, the wires that i'm not going to use on the high voltage side of the transformers and the remaining six wires of all these three transformers will be connected in series well at present i will connect in series and see what happens and if uh, the results are not uh, that good then i will change it okay so let's start with the series connection first okay the first wire has been connected here now the second wire now all i'm left is with these two wires that is uh, the final output so to the final output of these three transformers i will connect this multimeter to first measure the voltage that i'm getting out of the transformer so the output voltage is going to be ac so pointing it towards uh, the 200 volts ac mode first wire has been connected now the second wire Okay so guys now all I have to do is give the supply from this battery to the rotor or field terminals of this alternator okay so I will do that Okay, so guys, as you can see here, I have connected this red wire to this uh, red terminal of the alternator. Now, uh, the black one will be connected here. Yeah, there is sparking, which means that the connection is fine. And also, you should see some voltage reflected on the multimeter when I touch this. Okay, you can see 1.2 volts. Yeah. Okay, so guys, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the multimeter is pointing here towards 200 volts AC mode, and it is connected to the main output terminals from the transformer, the two terminals, as I showed you a few seconds before. Okay, so now I'm going to use this thread and wound it on the pulley of this alternator to rotate its shaft, and then see what voltage I can get here. But before I do that, I will have to connect this left out terminal. To this blue one okay okay so I have uh, successfully wound the thread now I'm going to connect uh, this terminal to the left out wire okay so I've connected it now it's time for you to keep looking on the multimeter screen okay so let's go. whoa the voltage was so high that it went beyond 200 volts because of which uh, the multimeter could not read the voltage reading okay so now i'm going to move the pointer towards a 750 volts ac well the result is really really good let's Let's do that once again. Okay. Well, now I'm going to connect this terminal. Has been connected. Now keep looking on the multimeter screen. Okay. Go. It was a 294 volts. I'll give it another try. And let's see how much more I can generate. Okay. 298 volts. Okay. So I believe the battery is also very low. It is only 7 volts. And 
around 14 volts 12 to 14 volts is needed to activate uh, the alternators field or rotor so if the battery is charged then obviously i'm going to get even higher output voltage so now it's time to connect some practical loads to it okay so guys now i'm going to remove the terminals of the multimeter and connect a 100 watts incandescent bulb okay connections are really simple since there are only two wires so it will be connected like this yeah uh, the connections have been made now all i have to do is give a spin to the alternators pulley and it should go okay now the thread has been bound on the pulley now it's time to connect this terminal and go wow even this 7 volts is exciting our rotor of this alternator pretty good and it is producing high voltage electricity with high current with the help of these three transformers connected in delta format to the armature winding of this alternator let's give it one more try okay go yeah so guys i believe you learned a lot from this video since i did too and maybe we are going to get an even higher output from these three transformer system like if we connect it in star format this is something that is really easy we don't need any circuit just connect the transformers in delta format and connect all the outputs in series and you will get higher voltage with low rpm so guys that would be all about today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you